Macedonia is experiencing constraints in relation to science, technology and innovation policies which are similar to those of other South southeastern European countries since gaining independence. The country needs a holistic approach to research and development issues and human capital creation in order to align its scientific and research target policies with the ones in the EU's Lisbon Strategy 2020. At the beginning, this paper gives an overview and critical analysis of the triple helix innovation model. Then, in it, it introduces and analyzes the main characteristics of the model and the way this model is implemented in selected countries. It also gives an overview and critical analysis of the Macedonian reality in terms of innovation. Our main research assumption is that the implementation of a triple helix innovation model is oftentimes associated with not only constant learning and innovation, but also with knowledge sharing and networking with individuals and organizations in order to achieve mutual advantage. The triple helix model perceives as a positive synergy between the three actors, that is university, industry and government, is increasingly used as a policy framework in both developed and developing countries for the purpose of strengthening their national and regional economies through learning and innovation. The model is characterized by strong interactions between the university as the center of activity or influence with its academic-based research and development activities, the industry as the provider of the customer demand based on its commercial activities as well as research and development, and the government as a policy maker. Our assumption is that the integration of these three actors ideally will increase knowledge spillovers in Macedonia and in the region on a bigger scale and hence increase the competitive advantage of economic development, regional or national. This research features the results of an online survey conducted over 50 Macedonian technology firms. The empirical data complement the theoretical observations of the author. One might ask what the main indicators are of the emergence of new hybrid organizational forms across Macedonian universities. Is there evidence of ongoing institutional innovations to promote closer relations between faculties and firms? In a complex, small developing countries context like Macedonia, it can be expected that the transition to new economic and social forms will be partial, uneven and incomplete. Past social and organizational forms remain active, coexisting with new forms, and there are different possible pathways to common goals. Acquiring and transferring technology as a core component of the triple helix innovation system can be difficult for a small developing country such as Macedonia. Unsuccessful technology transfer policies in developing countries might come as a result of 1. Lack of supply of and demand for qualified human resources, such as social and human capital. 2. Problems associated with the knowledge base, that is the research capacity. 3. Problems associated with the ability to innovate, that is technology and innovation performance. And 4. Problems associated with the capacity of markets to absorb and diffuse innovation, that is absorptive capacity. A study conducted by the Business Startup Center um, uh, located in the St. Cyril and Methodius University uh, shows that R&D share in Macedonian GDP in 2003 was meager uh, 0.22% compared to Serbia 0.32%. Bulgaria's 0.5 and Croatia's 1.10% of the GDP. Although in the above mentioned countries this percentage has been constantly increasing since 2003, Macedonia has experienced a downward trend and this can be attested by the following table 1 and the graph 2 which shows the R&D expenditures by type and the base year is 2003. Uh, three, uh, and um, as you can see, one percentage goes as an expenditure on R and D in the business sector. Uh, then, sixty-two percent are um, uh, sixty-two percent form uh, governmental expenditures on R and D, and thirty-seven um, percent go goes to academia spending on R and D. Uh, that is research and development. 
our survey results um, um, further, furthermore support uh, the observation. Um, the survey technology transfer in the Republic of Macedonia was conducted online via software platform Qualtrics. It covers 50 high-tech domestic and foreign-owned firms in Macedonia. It researched the perception of the firm's managers of the technology transfer climate in Macedonia. Survey results show that 31% of the surveyed managers answered that their firm has never been involved in technology transfer. Almost 52 of the survey respondents who claimed that their firm participated in technology transfer answer that the technology was transferred by another entity so there is no technology creation by domestic firms or domestic entities be that universities or public institutions out of those 100 percent answered that the transferring entity was a foreign firm there is no mention whatsoever of universities governmental institutes or other domestic firms when technology transfer comes into mind um, uh, of uh, the domestic businessmen. This is indicative of the low research culture within the Macedonian business community. It seems that the Macedonian firm's manager perceives the option of technology transfer from a foreign firm as the sole option available. It will be very difficult for the public policy stakeholders in the research and scientific area to put the triple helix innovation model on the agenda and entice the private sector to stimulate its own R&D involvement. Also, survey respondents give relatively high credibility to the legal framework pertaining to technology transfer when compared to the institutional framework and the financing opportunities. Uh, the public policy stakeholders should also bear this in mind when crafting adequate mechanisms for the triple helix innovation model implementation in Macedonia. Um, and here uh, you can see the, in graph V um, the survey results um, uh, from the question please evaluate your experience in technology transfer in Macedonia according to the following indicators that is the legal framework, institutional framework and financing opportunities and here you can see that um, highest percentage of respondents are satisfied with the legal framework and um, uh, then uh, comes the institutional framework and uh, uh, the lowest score, um, uh, the financing opportunities got the, the lowest score. A uh, high number of survey respondents think that the state should make bigger budgetary allotments to the R&D endeavors um, and undertaken by the business sector. high number of survey respondents also claim that the state does not support public-private partnerships. The business sector representatives clearly observe and acknowledge the non-existence of the link between the state and the business sector in the innovation model of Macedonia. This is also the case when asked about their perception of the role of Macedonian academia in generating and sustaining the innovation process well. Therefore, there is a need for establishing technology transfer offices, the business, Macedonian businessmen claim under the auspices of the Macedonian universities, which will serve as an initial block of the Macedonian Triple Helix Innovation Platform. According to the World Economic Forum Global Competitiveness Report 2010-2011, Macedonia is considered to be in the efficiency-driven stage of its economic development. Hence, Macedonia has not reached the innovation-driven stage of economic development. Um, one way of measuring innovation would be via measuring the nation's ability to innovate and the best method of doing this is through measuring nation's patent activity. The number of filed patent applications by domestic and foreign entities is an indicator of the vitality of the country's innovation system and here Macedonia again fails. Even of greater analytical importance is the number of successful patent applications by domestic entities submitted in front of the uh, European Patent Office, that is the EPO, the USPTO, and the VIPO, that is the so-called PCT uh, application. As figures show again, Macedonia does poorly in the area of domestic patenting. There is a declining trend in domestically filed patent applications, which is taken as one of the main indicators of the decayed innovation system in Macedonia. Even more disappointing is the fact that in 20 years time span there are only two successful patent applications 
submitted by domestic entities in front of the USPTO. This serves as yet another evidence of the current adversities of the Macedonian innovation uh, system. And as the graph 4 shows, um, uh, domestic national patent applications in the Republic of Macedonia filed by domestic and foreign entities, um, you know, we can see a declining uh, trend, um, dec declining trend in uh, filed patent applications. Um, and this is based on our own calculations of the figures obtained from the Macedonian Industrial Property uh, Bureau.